morning everybody <clears throat> just uh, just come for a nice Sunday morning ramble um, planning to go from from Hyam Ferrers the Bomber Wharf Road go over the over the bridge at the A45 and then uh, walk up towards Erflinborough taking in some of the uh, lake areas and the along by the river hopefully it's looking good out there yes yeah, so i'm down the bottom of wharf road now um just having a look at the lake and it's uh, it looks like it's well in flood well not flood but the water looks like it's up quite a lot but it does look lovely So yeah, the plan is to walk from down Wharf Road in Hyam Ferrers, walk through the uh, little Riverside Park area, made my way over the bridge, over the A45, and then turn right and head towards Erflinborough along the river. I don't know how many miles that is but I've got my watch on so it should tell me it should tell me how far that is by the time I get there. A lot of trees and things been cut down in this area. Don't know if they're planning they're planning something from an open space point of view. up here on the bit blowy up here on the bridge I'm not sure if you'll be able to hear my voice over the wind blimey don't know how many miles an hour wind it is today the A45 not too busy and the river's looking quite high it's looking very brown as well well that's the route I'm taking just look at that floor I think I might get a little bit muddy today just getting to the end of the bridge or the dinosaur bridge as my grandson calls it I think I'm going to take a detour through the through the brambles and see if I can find a different route. That looks so boggy; it's unbelievable. But there might be a different area. It actually looks quite flooded down here as well, doesn't it? You see how the water's come right up into the. Blimey. I mean under normal circumstances this is a I think this is a bit of a pathway <laughs> you need your wellies if you're walking through that looks quite dense in here I suppose I better see if I can get back onto some sort of track so I can get on with the walk that I'm doing. So I'm just coming out of the trees now and here's the river. It's the river then. And then the A45 that runs adjacent to it. been coming down here for a lot of years when I was into fishing and I've been fishing for so many years now but uh, used to come down here night fishing not on the river 
but uh, on the lakes to the side and uh, I reckon there's quite a lot of good fish in there uh, I believe it's an old gravel pit yeah it's an old gravel pit and I think uh, I think it well it used to be on Earthlingborough and Nen Anglers Club um, and then it was on Wellingborough as well Wellingborough Angling Club um, to be honest because I've been out of fishing for so long I've not really thought about who's got the angling rights to it these days but uh, I'm gonna guess that you get the old carp guys down here um, searching for them the, the carp and the bream that uh, are said to be in here as soon as there's a gap in the trees I'll see if I can get over to to the lake and just pan the camera around a little bit so you can see what it's looking like on a February morning I've got this snood round my neck I thought it was cold out but uh, I think I'll have to take it off in a minute because I'm getting a bit hot now well, that feels a lot better now I took that off it really was getting hot anyway I've come into the trees to have a look at the uh, to have a look at the lakes I don't know if you can see the lakes over there in the distance it looks a little bit wet underfoot but I will go a bit closer when I said it was wet underfoot I wasn't joking so I don't think I'll be getting much closer than this to be honest at the moment roll on the spring and summer when all this dries out oh dear well, that wind seems to be blowing onto the on the top of the water but it uh, don't seem to be blowing ever so in the air I think it's probably because of all these trees sort of sheltering it a little bit So I'll just carry on walking along walking along the uh, pathway it is muddy but it's not as muddy as it was back there when I first got off the bridge but I'm trying to keep to the edge and I've got walking boots on and they are waterproof but uh, I don't really want to be putting my feet in puddles of water unless I really have to So over there on the far bank you see that drain that goes through to the lake that uh, I passed earlier on at the bottom of Wharf Road because once upon a time that was the main river and when they built the A45 they diverted the river and they made this channel along here so the other bit has now become a bit of a um, bit of a lake and a fishing a fishing area for the um, population of Hind Ferrers. Yeah, there's uh, this stretch of river. There's no not a lot of character to it really. Um, it's literally a straight line that runs in parallel with the A45. It's a shame, really. They could have put a few bends and curves in it just to give it a bit of uh, bit of character. I actually consider myself quite lucky really where I live I live in Heim Ferrers and right on my doorstep I've got the lake at the bottom of Wharf Road I've got Earthlingborough Lakes and the stretch of river that runs beside that a bit further the other way on the river you've got you've got some woods 
you've got Rosedon Lakes and a stone's throw away yeah you've got other places in Northamptonshire such as Salty Forest and places like that so really lucky really Oh, wouldn't it be great when the, all the greenery starts showing on these trees again? It won't be long now though. Spring is in the air. Lovely, lovely squelchy mud. Love it. Or not. Let's take a little bit of a detour off of this track. Gonna have a look down at something a bit more interesting. God, the wind's definitely blowing across this lake. You see the moor hens out there on the water bobbing up and down. <laughs> it's certainly blowing a bit of a wave into the banks. Well, all I can say is I'm glad I didn't bring Charlie Boy. I decided last week that uh, these long walks are a bit too much for Charlie. So I should just stick to short walks with him and then just do the long walks on my own. Um, but I can imagine if he was walking through all this mud, he would get absolutely plastered and it would be bath time when we got home. Bless him. I think we're coming to a, we're coming to a turn, a turn in the walkway here because this area comprises of a few lakes and I think this first lake it ends just here and then you walk along the back of that and I think that walks along the back of the others as well I think the end of the lake is just just behind here just beyond these brambles, you can just sort of make it out. That's the end of the lake. Oh shit. 